Hello everyone, my name is Jordan, also known as Mix, and today I want to show you guys this. This is a nuclear riser, and a lot of typical EDM tracks and glitch hop tracks like to use white noise or a synthetic reverse effect, but this sound is uniquely different. This nuclear riser is a riser for those big EDM tracks, but at the same time can be achieved by using some of the simplest tricks inside of Thor. So I want to show you what this sound sounds like and then I'm going to show you guys how to create it. It looks a little complex but don't worry we'll get to those details here in a minute. So have a listen to my nuclear riser. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change my tempo instead of 120 to be 100. Then I'm going to throw in a combinator and throw in Thor to keep everything nice and tidy. So what I'm going to do is I want to change my range up here from 7 to 1. Then I want to change my polyphony and release polyphony to 1. Then what I'm going to do is turn on my portamento, just leave it on on. And then what I'm going to do is go through the different oscillators, the filters, the LFO, the mod envelope, the attack envelope, I'm sorry, the amp envelope, the filter envelope, and the global envelope. And then some of the matrix down here. So one of the first things you want to do with your first oscillator is turn it up one octave to octave 5. And the semi, you want that to be, let's see, I want to make sure this is 7 instead of 6. Nope, it's 7. You want the semi tone to be at 7. And you want your PW up all the way. And you want oscillators 1 and 2 routing to filter 1 over here. Next, for my second oscillator, I'm going to make it be an analog oscillator. I'm going to set it to a square, and I'm going to set the PW to 64, so that's right in the middle. And we don't need to mess with the semi, but for the octave, I'm going to turn it up to, so to octave 6. For our third oscillator, that's also going to be an analog, it's going to stay where it is, right in the middle and turn up the PW up all the way. So for filter 1, we have 1 and 2 routing to filter 1, creating kind of like a mono synth. And for filter 2, we want 1 and 2 to route through here as well. And we want the feedback on. Make sure this is on this out that goes to the amp. So next, what I want to do is I want to bring down filter 3 down to negative 12.8 decibels because as you can hear it's still kind of loud so I'm going to turn down the master volume a bit to negative 9.3 so what I'm going to do with this I'm going to change my LFO 1 to key, key sync I'm going to take it from rate all the way down to 0 0.07 and the keyboard follow knob down to zero as well but for the waveform we're gonna make this all the way to waveform I think it's 12 yeah waveform 12 and that's all we need to do for the LFO for now now what I'm going to do is go over to the mod envelope I want to turn it on loop I'm going to bring up my attack up all the way and for the delay, I'm going to take this down to 3.24 seconds. So 3.24 seconds. There we go. And for my decay, I'm going to take this down to 349 milliseconds. And for my release, 
that should just be at 4.35 seconds. Yep, okay. So now what I'm going to do is I wanna go over to my amp envelope, turn up attack all the way, decay all the way and sustain all the way. So it has a nice building motion. For the global envelope, I didn't really do anything with the global envelope or the filter envelope. So we're gonna leave those for now. The big thing about this synth is the mod. So for the mod, I'm gonna choose all of my source sounds, then I'm gonna choose the amounts, then, then the destination, then the amount for that, and then finally the scale. So for the first three, I wanna choose my mod envelope. And I want to change the amount for the first one to 78. The second one to be 44. And the third one to be 44 as well. The destination for these are going to be the oscillator 1 pitch. The oscillator 2 FM. And the oscillator 1 FM. For the amount, this is going to be 78 for the first one. For the second one, it's going to be 50. The third one, it's going to be 57. And for the scale of the first one, it's going to be our amp. For our second one, it's going to be oscillator 3. And for our third one, it's going to be oscillator 3 as well. Okay, for the last three, the, the fourth one needs to be oscillator 2. The second one, I'm sorry, the fifth one needs to be LFO 1. And the sixth one needs to be LFO 1 as well. So for the first three last ones, oscillator 2 needs to be at 36 for the amount. And for oscillator 5, this, I'm sorry, for the fifth slot, LFO 1, this needs to be 50. It's getting kind of confusing, but I'm trying to do my best to really try and not make things as boring as they seem. So for LFO 1, I'm going to change this to 50 as well for the last one. Okay, for the destinations for the final three, oscillator 2 to 36 needs to go to oscillator 2 FM. And that needs to go from 74, I'm sorry, for our uh, fifth one for our LFO, the LFO destination needs to be the oscillator 1 pitch. And for our last one, it needs to be the oscillator 2 pitch. So for our final amounts, Sorry, I just want to do that for a second. Our final amounts for oscillator 2, this is going to be 74. This is where things start to get really interesting. Uh, for our fifth one, for oscillator 1 pitch, this needs to be 50. Oscillator 2 pitch, this needs to be 80. This is going to be the most dramatic one. And for our fourth option for oscillator 2 for the scale we're going to make this oscillator 3 for the rest of the other scales so oscillator 3 and oscillator 3 And there you guys have it, your very own nuclear riser. To really tidy up the synth and make it very wide, I'm going to attach a RV7000 Advanced Reverb. For the patch, I'm going to choose my all treetops preset. What this allows it to do is it allows it to breathe more without really using a plate to kind of bounce back the sound against itself in order to create 
kind of more of a delay. So we're going to use all treetops. All treetops right there. I want to take the dry wet down to 10, the decay down to probably about 10, and the high EQ, we're going to take that down to negative 53. Next, I'm going to attach the echo on it. Take the time down all the way down, turn off sync, turn on keep pitch. I actually take it off keep pitch because we want the sound to modulate itself a little bit more and set the right offset to 16 milliseconds. Just making sure these are minimized and using a lot less CPU. Next thing, throw on a pulverizer, set the squash to about 20%, and set your filter type to high pass. I'm gonna set my frequency all the way to about 120 hertz. And for the modulation aspect, I'm gonna turn up the tremor to volume to 13, turn on spread and take the rate all the way down. Make sure that goes to the filter as well. It's going to sway back and forth and give your audience a little bit more, uh, more leeway when they're listening to this. To tidy this all up, I'm going to throw on my M-Class equalizer. I'm going to turn on low cut, low shelf. I'm going to take my low shelf just down a few, so negative. 9.1 turn up the Q to 0.86 and for my first parameter the frequency needs to be 320 Hertz or 319 however close you can get it tick the gain all the way down and the Q all the way up for my second parameter we're gonna choose let me move this out of the way we're going to choose 4.736 kilohertz. So 4.73 kilohertz. Take the gain all the way down, Q all the way up. Turn on high shelf, set the frequency to 7.743. Take the gain down to about negative 5.4 and turn up the Q all the way. So this is gonna remove a lot of the bad harmonics. So the last thing I'm going to do is throw on a maximizer, take it off limiter, put release to auto, turn on soft clip, and set our amount to 127. And there you guys have it, your very own nuclear riser. So be sure to tell your friends about this example because this is uh, a new way of developing high risers for a lot of uh, big bomb uh, type of music and big bomb is more of a uh, really hard trap and very hard dubstep it's a new uh genre that's coming out and it's getting bigger and bigger so anyways have a great day guys stay safe just enjoy life as best as possible don't let the little things get you down stay safe and be cool peace